Um, does it look? Because it looks like it's tilted. So your mark. <laughs> So your barber might be breaking the law if they're doing these things that I'm going to mention in this video. Now believe it or not, the state that you live in probably doesn't care about how well your barber can cut hair. The barber's main responsibility is to make sure that they're not getting you sick. So first things first, most barbers in most states, whether they're licensed or not, is public knowledge. So you can actually research to see if your barber's even licensed. So that means they went to school, they took a test, and they became able to practice barbering in your state. So if your barber is not licensed, they, they are definitely breaking the law. Also, are they working in a licensed barber shop? The barber shop also needs to have a license in the state that they are operating in, but otherwise they are operating illegally. So another thing that your barber might be doing that's illegal is not spraying the clippers in between the haircuts. The clipper spray, there's different kinds that barbers have available, is actually disinfecting the clippers and the tools in between each haircut. So if you don't see them spraying the tools and the clippers in between, then they might be breaking the law because they're supposed to be using a clean tool on each single client that they service. Every single barber needs to be using a brand new razor on your haircut or your shave every single time. They should not be using the same razor on every single client or more than one client rather. So if you don't see your barber changing the razor out before they put it on, stop them and say no thanks because if they're using the same razor on you as they did on somebody else, then you might get an infection from the last person. Does this look familiar? This is actually not legal to use in some states. Why? Because you can't sanitize this. So if you see a barber dusting a client off using this and not spraying it, then there actually could be spreading infection in between each client. So even if they spray it with the clipper spray, the chances are that this thing is gonna get disinfected very low. Well. So don't let the barber use this on you. This is an alum block. This is used after a shave to soothe the skin. This is great for using at home, but you can't actually use this in the barber shop because again, you can't sanitize this. So you don't want to have a barber using this on more than one client because they could be spreading infection. So don't let a barber use alum blocks on you. It's okay to use at home on yourself, but we can't use it on multiple clients because it can't be disinfected. This is a shave brush. You use this to apply lather before you shave. Now this is one of those things that's great to use at home, but again, we can't disinfect this. We, even spraying it with the clipper spray or disinfectant is not gonna do enough to disinfect this in between clients. So you can have a barber use your own brush on you, but you don't wanna have your barber using this on multiple people because they could be spreading infections to different people when they're using a shave brush that can't be disinfected. Does your barber use a brush to fade? If they're using a brush like this, chances are it's dirty. You can't sanitize something like this by spraying it. If something like this has to be immersed in a liquid to fully sanitize it. And this brush is just too big to fit inside the barber side jar to disinfect it. So you don't want to let a barber use a brush like at this size on your head. What I would recommend instead is having a barber use this type of brush on you. These brushes are smaller, they're soft, and you can fit many of them inside the barber side jar. So that way, every time a barber uses a brush on you, you know they're using a clean brush. And last but not least, this is not required in most states, but your barber should be cleaning and disinfecting the chair in between each client. It's not required, but think about it. If somebody sits in the chair and they're sweaty and they're dirty and they're greasy, would you really want to sit in and lean your head back on the same exact headrest the last client just used? Chances are you could get a staph infection if that chair is not being cleaned in between. So it'd be nice to make sure that the chair is disinfected in between each client so that way you're not getting sick or something that the last guy had. So I hope you found that valuable. Make sure you take these tips with you to the next time you go to the barbershop. That way you can stay healthy.